What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Crash Blade Gaming. I'm your host Crash and today we have a little bit of a Pokemon that's been put on the back burner since Lost Origin came out and I thought I'd bring some light to it. Delphox V has a really good attack and it combos pretty well with another stadium that came out Lost Origin which I like very much as well. So we'll just, you know, dive right into there and take a look at the deck and see how it does. Yeah, let's do it. Question of the day time. All right, here's the Pokemon question of the day. Now remember, just a quick recap of the rules. You have to get three questions right to win the prize is the main thing. And to earn points, you have to be the first person to answer in the comment section down below with the correct answer to gain one point all the way up to three points. After the three points, that person wins the prize and all the points reset for everybody and we just repeat over. Yeah, <clears throat> that's how this works. Also, there's a code word in the video. If you are able to find that code word and be the first person to put that code word in the comment section down below, you'll win a couple packs on PTCGO. And the question uh, reward is better than the code word reward. But anyways, let's go over last video's question. And this Pokemon is basically a sun lion. Who is the Pokemon? And if you were like the commenter linked Hawkins, you guessed Sogaleo. Sogaleo is basically a lion with the sun as a main. It's the sun Pokemon pretty much. That's Sogaleo. That's the answer to the question. So good job, Link Hawkins. You now have one point. And I believe Ban Socks, you also have one point. So we got two people with one point. Now, this video's question <clears throat> is, this Pokemon is the first Pokemon to be introduced to us that was based off of a crocodile. Who is the Pokemon? Go ahead and leave your answer in the comment section down below. And good luck. And hey, while you're there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like the video if you enjoy the content. Do appreciate it. I think I'm at 181 subscribers. We're almost there to 200. The goal is to get there by uh, the end of the year. So yeah, help me out there. That'd be awesome. I appreciate it. And good luck with the questions. Let's get into the deck list. I don't think anybody's really been giving Delphox V the credit it deserves. It's actually a really good Pokemon. It has two attacks, Eerie Glow for one fire energy. We can, I mean, yeah, confuse and burn our opponent's active Pokemon. And for three energies, two fire, one colorless, Magical Fire does 120 damage. We put two energies attached to this Pokemon into the Lost Zone, but this attack also does 120 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and you know there are a lot of juicy targets for Delphox to be doing 120 damage to the Comfies, the Regis, the Solrox, Lunatones, the Cramorants. They're all there for us in the taking, but how are we going to be utilizing Delphox? Well, I thought I'd go back to the traditional Arceus V-Star deck here. So we have a 3-2 line of Arceus V-Star with the Trinity Nova attack for 3 energy. We do 200 damage and we get to get 3 basic energy cards and attach them to our Delphox basically. And then we have a 2-2 line of the Barrel of course to help us draw some more cards in our turn. Two copies of Moltres here with the Flare Symbol ability. This allows our basic Fire type Pokemon to do 10 more damage to our opponent's active Pokemon. And the reason we have this is because Delphox Magical Fire only does 120 damage to the active. So having Moltres here Let's just do 130. If we have both, we can do 140, which is really relevant to do that 140 mark because that lets us two-shot all these stars if they don't have any health modifications to them, which is can be sometimes important. We also have one copy of Radiant Charizard. We're playing Fire Energy. This is the best Radiant to play with Fire Energy because we can do a straight 250, no easies, easy peasies, and we have Choice Belt to do 280 to just take a straight up KO on a V star as well. One copy of Manaphy, of course. Um, because, you know, bench damage is a thing, Delphox is a thing. And another interesting tech we have here is Lost City. We have three copies of the Stadium Lost City. Whenever a Pokemon is knocked out, that Pokemon gets put in the Lost Zone instead of the discard pile. So this really, really shuts down single prize decks because they rely on recovering some of their Pokemon. If you put them in the Lost Zone, they can't get them back and they can't recover and they can't move on. It limits their resources very, very well. We also have one copy of Path to the Peak just in case. We use our V-Star ability, throw down Path, stop our opponent from having their abilities as well. A couple of Pokemon Search cards, four Ultra Balls, four Quick Balls, and then we have three copies of Evil Incense because we are playing a couple of Evolution Pokemon that we need. Uh, three Switching cards, two Basic Switch here just to switch our Pokemon, and one Escape Rope, which can come in handy sometimes, just depends. Three copies of Boss's Orders, playing a heavy boss count because Delphox needs to be able to take multiple prizes in one turn. You do not want to attack with Delphox if you're only going to be taking one prizes. They're only just going to be doing damage, unless you can set up for further turns. So Boss's Orders really comes in handy to help you maneuver your opponent's board to be able to take multiple prizes in one turn and win the game. 
four copies of Marnie because we want to do as much hand disruption to our opponent as we can. Marnie really is good against the Lost Zone decks. Just so you are aware of three copies of Research, one Raihan. Just in case you're able to use Raihan, this helps set up Charizard pretty easily. It helps also set up follow-up Delphoxes if yours gets knocked out. One Big Charm just in case. One Choice Belt to either put on Delphox to help hit higher numbers. It is possible to knock out Lumineon straight up with Delphox. So keep that in mind as long as you have Choice Belt. Also for Radiant Charizard to be able to hit the uh, 280 mark. And we have 14 energies here. Tan Fire four double turbo energies you can adjust these energies count if you want and maybe go down to nine fire if you want but the reason you need a lot of decks because you got a del fox attack is three energy costs and then you have to lost zone two so you don't even get energy back so it's crazy but yeah that's the deck it'll be in the description down below hope you enjoy the matches let's get to them Ooh, a zamazenta huh and we did top deck an arceus v that's really good so we'll do this we'll do this We'll attach the energy to Arceus V. We have the V start in hand for next turn. And double turbo so I can um, star birth for a switch and supporter. Or switch and b b b b b barrel. B b b the Beavers. The Beebs. Oh no, not a Luminia. Don't go grab Marnie, please. Please don't grab Marnie. Okay, close experiment. Okay, so we're going up against some kind of a Lost Zone deck. Which uh, is good. Except the fact that we play Lost City. Unless they have basic Pokemon to help. Basically, I'll, I'll help them fill their Lost Zone, which is fine. But the if they can't recover Pokemon, that's even better. Thornton, Finette goes into the Lost Zone. Okay. It's fine with me. Gotta be careful with a Thornton play, because Thornton brings something from the discard, right? Choose a basic Pokemon in the discard pile. Okay. So we have to be careful with what they're doing here. We have to pay attention to the basic Pokemon in their discard piles because they can Thornton it. I'm sure they play more than one, otherwise they wouldn't have discarded it right away. Gudra. Okay. Pursuing Gudra. The gooey boy. Got a metal energy attached to it. I don't think it'll be able to attack... Well, it can slip and trip. But the V-Star can't attack next turn just yet. We can hit the Zamazenta with Arceus. Ooh, they discard their whole hand. Wow. Okay. Ooh, perfect. We can play the escape rope. See what they give us. I don't care about hitting this Amazenta. Rather hit a different Pokemon, like Luminion or Gudra. If they give us Luminion, we get a KO. If they give us Gudra. We don't get a KO, but we still get to hit into it, and then Dalfox can hit into it later. Double Turbo, Evo Incense. Get the RCS V star. Do that. And then we can star birth here. Go get the barrel. And don't need Lost City because I'm going to play the path. Um, let's grab research. Yeah, that seems good. No, actually, let's grab Marnie. Because we have the barrel. The barrel plus Marnie is good. Let's do that. Drop the path on him. The barrel. Just get a few more cards. See what we can get. Maybe we can set up a couple Moltres's. That's a Moltres. Uh, let's get rid of Evo Incense. Moltres is good. The more damage we do, the better. Big Charm on V-Star. Marnie, our opponent. See if we can get another Moltres down. Radiant Charizard is good to have in the hand. Okay, we like what we got. Let's go ahead and Trinity Nova. Do 180 damage to the Gudra. And get this Delphox ready to go. Next turn we can retreat into Delphox. If they, so if they retreat the Gudra, we can retreat into Delphox, hit the active, and KO the Gudra on the bench. Or we can just keep going with Arceus here, uh, depending on what our opponent does. I do have a boss that I can KO on the Luminium with Arceus at any time, so I want to keep that in mind. We're doing 130 damage to the active. And they attach an energy to the Zamazenta. Let's see. I kind of want to boss the Luminion next turn. They get a boss. They're going to boss up the barrel. That's fine. We have a switch with the double turbo. Cool. So we'll play double turbo here. We'll switch into the Delphox. 
Uh, do we want to kill Luminion? Yeah, we'll switch into Delphox. Um, boss up the Zam. Zam's weak to fire. So we hit 240. This is perfect. Boss up the Zamazenta. Industrious Incisors for one. We're going to get four prizes this turn. Lost City is great, but I'm not going to play it. Magical Fire. Kale the Gudra. Kale the Active. Perfect. Four prizes in one turn. Thanks for the weakness there. And our opponent concedes. I don't blame them. We had another boss probably with the Arceus. So that's awesome. That's how we roll. Oh, hey. Quick plug in here. Got to put the code word in for the video. So this video's code word is FIRE. F-I-R-E. Put that down in the comment section down below. Be the first one to get that code word. And you'll win some packs on PTCGO. And the comfies. This is what we wanted to see. Perfect. All right. Let's attach an energy to Arceus. We can... We're going to hold the path. But I can get rid of one of these Marnies, right? Or should I get rid of an energy? I think it's best to get rid of Marnie. Get rid of Marnie. Go get Bidoof down. Next turn we have Arceus V-Star if we so choose. Say done. Next turn we have Arceus V-Star plus Marnie plus Path. I can Ultra Ball away, Fire Energy, and whatever we top deck to get a Del... No, to get the Arceus V-Star. Delphox will come after that. Which is good. We want to find Lost City so we can get some of these Pokemon into the discard. Battle Vip Pass. Will they be able to attack with Cramorant this first turn? Maybe. It's possible. They can have Chorus's Experiment in hand. But Marnie's going to be really good for next turn. They get a Comfy Leafy on. That's what I like to see. A, weak, a, po a Pokemon week to Delphox is basically Delphox getting a, a KO on the active and a KO on a bench Pokemon. Giratina. So I think Path will be good here. After I use my V-Star ability, of course. So to stop this uh, Leafeon from using the ability. However, they could use it this turn anyways to power up the Giratina. They do get rid of a V-Star. We're definitely going to Marnie them. Maybe Path isn't as bad. They've got three cards in the Lost Zone. We have to pay attention because Cramorant can come down at any moment. <laughs> and they get rid of a Chorus Experiment. That tells me they have one in hand. And they're going to use it here soon. That's what that tells me. Or supporter. There it is. There's another chorus experiment. So they're going to be active with Cramorant. If they have it in hand. Plus a um, switching card or scoop up net. Something like that. They get rid of another chorus experiment. That's crazy. And the energy recycler. That's good to know. Those other two cards must have been. Three cards must have been really good. Switch into Comfy. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe they can get Mirage Gate online turn one. They might be able to get. They're going to get Mirage Gate turn one. Oh, they already used that comfy. Okay. This will be six. This is intense. Okay, we need to set up Delphox quick. Very, very quick. Hopefully our Marnie will hurt them because they've chosen cards to keep their hand with flower selecting. Don't know if they've used them. But hopefully Marnie will slow our opponent down a little bit. They've already got five... So they've got six cards in the loss on the capture energy on Leafeon. Surprised they put them on Leafeon. They could have put it on Giratina. There's the Cramorant. That could come up and hit me. <clears throat> I don't mind KOing a Cramorant. That's fine with me. Ultra Ball. Well, now I don't want a Marnie. Let's see what they get with the Ultra Ball, though. Get rid of Crobat and a Boss's Orders. That's good to know. This one doesn't affect weakness, right? Good. <laughs> If you would have KO'd our Delphox. A Luminion. They got Luminion for next turn. So we're definitely going to Marnie. Because they know that I'm going to knock out a Comfy. Okay. So we'll Marnie since they wasted it for Luminion. They get a Grass Energy for Leafeon. They're going to be attacking with Leafeon. Okay. I don't think Path is that as, as important anymore. But I can keep it around, right? So we'll do this. We'll get rid of these two. Yeah, we'll get rid of those two. Go get V-Star. Thankfully, there's one in the deck. Delphoxes are in there. That's good. V-Star is here. Um, I don't want to play Path yet, so let's Marnie first. Get that Luminion out of their hand. We got the Delphox, which is good. That means I can Starbirth for the Barrel. 
and something else. The barrel, let's go with Lost City. I have a research in my hand. The barrel plus Lost City seems great. Oh, the double turbo energy, no! Oh no. I need the double turbo energy. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm not smart. Okay, I need to get rid of those. Oh, I'm not smart at all. Let's get a Moltres. Four are in the deck. We only have four fire energies left. Oh no. I made a huge misplace, guys. Huge misplays. I need a double turbo. Thank you. Whew. That was not good for me. We'll do that. <laughs> Trinity Nova. Get the three fire energy onto this Del Fox. Now we only have one Del Fox to work with, and we need to find more double turbos to help Del Fox. You get a prize, they lose a comfy, which activates um, Mirage Gate for them, though, which is hilarious. Oh, man. Ugh, I, oh, that sucks because I had to lose those fire energies, and those fire energies are really useful. So right now, Del Fox is doing 130. So 260 to the Leafeon. If we attach the Choice Belt, we're doing 160, which is 320 to KO Leafeon VMAX, if that's what they have. They could have Leafeon VMAX. I don't know. But I could basically KO Leafeon and another Comfy, and then Giratina V-Star would be the next target, I suppose. Ultra Ball away, Arceus and Bidoof to get down another Moltres as well. Pumping up Delphox damage to 140, which is important. They attach energy to Leafeon. They can Mirage Gate to Giratina as well, but they won't be able to attack. They can use Star Requiem, though, and just KO the V-Star. I would like for them to use it on Arceus. That'd be great. We're going to Cram. I don't mind them going into cram here. I'm going to try to get boss off of the barrel. If I can get a boss off of the barrel. And one more energy. Oh, there's the Luminion. Dang it. <laughs> there's Luminion. They could get Marnie here. Another course experiment. Research. Whatever they want. Let's see what they do. They are down a couple Giratinas. One Giratina, one's in play. They lost zoned a V-Star, which is good for us. Because, you know, they, they might only be playing two V-Stars and one of them might be prized. So what do we do? We can boss up the Leafeon, hopefully, if we can get into it with the barrel. There's another Chorus experiment. I can also boss up Luminion and KO that with Arceus. And then Leafeon plus a Comfy wins me the game. So basically I need a boss boss to win. 29 cards, I could get it. It'd be nice to do back-to-back -back bosses. Water Energy plus another Comfy goes into the Lost Zone. There's another Mirage Gate. So now they could just attack with Giratina if they wanted to. Let's see what our opponent does. They could have a scoop up net and V-Star in hand. They have used one scoop up net, one switch, and one switching card. Three switching cards. There's a scoop up. Oh, they come up with Comfy. Okay. They've already retreated as well. I guess they don't want to lose Cram. Which is fine with me. They must be digging for something. We really need to get our boss then. I think boss goes, I think I boss Luminion first and escape rope. Mm. Give him Moltres. I don't mind getting, losing Moltres. They come up with Leafeon, okay. Only does 90 damage. Now I have to find a switching card though, but I don't need a boss. Which is good, because that activates research for me. Flip tells they don't even get the KO, okay. Evo Incense. It's 
play it. Get that out the deck. Two bosses are in deck. I need once I need my switch or a double turbo. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball. Another Moltres is fine, it's playable. Don't need to play the Moltres though, I can thin the Arceus out. Let's do that. And then we'll get a couple of Industrious Incisors here, hopefully no bosses. Ooh, Charizard though. Guess we'll throw down the Charizard. Research, looking for a switch here. Really want to switch. We got it. We got a switch. We got the double turbo. That's perfect. All right. So we switch into Delphox. Are we doing enough bench damage though? We can KO the Comfy. Yeah. Switch into Delphox here. Attach double turbo. And then we can Magical Fire. KO the Leafeon. KO Comfy with Air Balloon. Perfect. Get rid of that so we can attack next turn if we need to. Perfect, perfect. We take three prizes here. Fire energy is okay. Boss's orders is perfect. We have game in hand. If they don't KO our Arceus, we have game in hand. Actually, even if they KO Arceus, we still have game in hand. We're doing 160 damage with Delphox right now because of Moltres and Choice Belt. I have Ultra Ball for the other Moltres. That's Moltres. <laughs> The other Moitri, no, just kidding, have Ultra Ball for the other Moltres, which gives me 10 more damage, which is 170. That Luminion is a juicy target for that. Boss is in hand. There's Ordinary Rod. Get back Crobat and Giratina. We have 10 cards in deck. They need to find a way to Star Requiem or KO my Delphox here. I think, doesn't Giratina just do a straight 280? I believe so. Giratina's damage is a lot. Let me adjust this light a little bit. Oop, get that out of my face. Okay. We're looking good here. We're looking like we can just KO this, this Luminion. They have to deal with Delphox and Arceus to avoid a loss. And they have to Marnie my hand. They have to do a lot here. They have to KO Delphox or Arceus. They have to get rid of my hand. There's a boss. We have Switch in hand. And they also have to deal with Radiant Charizard as well if they were taking surprises. Which is cool. Ooh, look at that. They got the Fancy Giratina. But we're good here. As a matter of fact, we also went with Delphox just KOing the Comfy and Cremorant. And they just shred for 160. KO my Radiant Charizard. Let's end the game here with Delphox, right? We're doing 120. That's perfect. We're doing 120. Let's just go ahead and boss up the Cremorant. Magical Fire. KO the Comfy on the bench. Who cares about Lubinion? We'll go after what we came to go after. Take the two prizes. And Delphox beats Giratina just like that. There you have it, everyone. Delphox was able to smash up against Giratina and just destroy the other Gudra deck as well, I guess. You know, Weakness did really... I'm going to be honest. Weakness did help with those matches to be able to take those multiple prize turns. But regardless, I mean, didn't really need to use it, especially in the Giratina matchup. I don't think I would have Weakness would have came in handy at all i mean it did but what i'm trying to say is i don't think it would have i don't think it made a difference we could have won bossing up luminion we could have won other ways in that matchup anyways but yeah that's the deck it's a really good bench hitter gotta watch out for manaphy though manaphy does shut down the deck a little bit but that's why you have arceus in there to boss up that manaphy and ko it and lost city it so they can't get it back that's why lost city is really important but yeah thanks for sticking around to the end of the video and we'll see you next time on crash blade gaming